Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about a managed availability feature that is making its way, hopefully, into 2023 R1. In many situations, you may have items that you normally don't keep in stock. And because of the type of items they are, maybe their dimensions or they have different feature sets, uh, they may have different attributes or sizes, because of that, their cost fluctuates quite a bit. So in general, as a special order item, the customer would contact you and say, hey, I need this item. I need it this long and with this feature and this paint style or something along those lines. And in that situation, you might call your vendor and ask them to price it for you to give you an idea of what it's going to cost so that you can get back to the customer. But with Acumatica, there's a few ways right now without special orders you can do that. And they're not great ways because the challenge is, is your cost. You don't want to use a common item and upset your average cost. When we're looking at this particular item, this is a stroller, and we look at it, the average cost of this is $160. And just based on the minimum and the maximum cost here, I can see that it's pretty much always been bought at $160. If I look at my inventory summary pop-up side panel here, I can see I have 90 in stock. But let's say, for example, I needed to order a bunch of these for a store or maybe a single one. Either way, maybe I needed a special paint color, uh, maybe there's some sort of electric assist, turbocharger, who knows. But this item is going to get purchased, it's going to go in and out of our system, and we do want to track profitability on that invoice. We want to know our cost of goods for that invoice and our total revenue. So we want to see our profitability, but we don't want to impact our cost in inventory. And in the past, what we've suggested to customers, well, just create another item. You could do that and you create another item, but doing that can be very time consuming. You got to create an item and you got to fill it all out. And then you work with that item and, and it seems kind of wasteful to do that for a single item. And then the other option we've talked about in the past is maybe making this particular item serialized. So this way, that particular serialized item goes in and out, and you're able to track the cost there. But that's also a challenge. There's a little bit of a high maintenance item because you're selecting serial numbers. Of course, you could auto-fulfill, you could do FIFO, but then, you know, um, there could be challenges later on as to what item is actually picked from stock. So special orders can solve all that. So when we're looking at this item, again, this is an item of $160 average cost. There's 90 of them in stock. But we have a customer that's going to order this. So we go over to our sales order. We create a new one. And we select our customer. We'll add the item. Customer is going to want five of these. And as we scroll over to the right, there's a few options now that you'll see using special orders. Scroll over, you'll see there's a special order checkbox. Now, special orders work alongside with Mark for PO because if you're doing a special order, then you're specially ordering it for the customer. And therefore, that needs to be some sort of link to a PO where you're passing along the vendor cost to the PO. And then that cost comes back into Acumatica when you receive it. And that special cost, that special order item cost, is passed along directly to that sales order through your shipment and invoice. Now, when I uncheck this, notice I can still mark for PO, of course. But notice this unit cost here. So unit cost field is available at Acumatica, but notice it grays out. If I check the special order, it allows me to change it. So I have a conversation with my vendor. They say, hey, you're going to order five of them, but you know, we're on a special and I know it's, it's, you're asking for a special paint or whatever. 
but we could still do it for $125. So we can put in that cost there. And now we save our sales order and we go over to create purchase order. Of course, we can do this on a mass basis through the purchasing create purchase order, but we're going to do it right from the sales order in this situation. And essentially it brings us to the same screen, but it filters the sales order for us. So we don't have to look at everything else. So we'll check that and we'll click on process. And this screen in general, create purchase orders, will bring us into the purchase order if there's only one PO that we're creating. And notice the unit cost here. This is the $125 unit cost. Again, just to reflect back, if we go back to stock items, the last cost on this is $160. Based on our preference in Acumatica, Acumatica is going to use the last cost. So it should have used $160, but it passed along the cost that we changed in the sales order for that special order item. So we'll remove the hold. I have approvals on. We'll turn that on. We'll receive it. Fast forward a couple of days. We now have it. We'll create a bill also. Normally, we would wait for the vendor's bill, which would come a few days later, but I'm going to put all this together and summarize it. And if we go over to our stock item and we refresh, you can see that our average cost has not been changed. If we go over here and refresh, you can see that we now have 95 in stock. And if we scroll over to the right, notice the unit cost is still is $160. If we look at our inventory transaction history and we change our dates, we'll go back to a previous year here. And we look over to the right, you can see that we bought these five, quantity in five, for $125. Yet again, our cost has not been changed. So if we go back to our sales order, we'll go back to our purchase order first. That'll give us a link back to our PO, which will give us a link back to our sales order. So we'll click on SO demand and drive back to the sales order. And we'll ship this out now. Notice we have five allocated, allocated because it's a mark for PO. We'll confirm the shipment. And we're going to go through the whole process. We're going to make our invoice and release it. Now, if we go back, close our purchase order here, and we go back to our stock item and refresh. Again, still no change in our cost. Of course, we brought one into stock, which changes our average cost. Additionally, when you take one out of stock, you could also impact your average cost. That didn't happen here either. If we refresh our inventory transaction history, you can see our invoice went out with a unit cost of 125. And then another thing I like to show, and we talk about it a lot, is the sales profitability analysis screen. And if we remove our customer class filter, we take a look, you can see this baby product, the stroller, and the cost of it was 625. We ordered five of them at $125, so that's your $625. So what's happening here is we took on a special order for a customer. We modified the price on the sales order. We created a purchase order from the vendor. We received it and then sold it. And Acumatica did two things. One, it took the cost that we used on the sales order. But additionally, it didn't impact our average cost. So this has been a widely requested feature in Acumatica. It's not quite available yet. We're hoping it'll make its way into 2023 R1. And what I'm showing is just the first part of it. I believe there may even be some additional features when it's all said and done. But if you'd like to get access to this feature early or start testing it, 
do reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching our video and subscribing to our YouTube channel, and have a great day.